Unit 3, learning target number 6, multiply fractions. Let's take a look at this example to get an idea of multiplication of fractions. You count the slices of orange on a serving tray. You count 7 one half slices of orange. How many oranges are there? So we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 slices of orange on the serving tray. And each one of them is one half. How many total slices of orange do we have? Well, this is a multiplication problem. We're going to be multiplying 7 times 1 half. Now, it's very easy if we take a look at this as a picture, we can see how many oranges we're going to have. We all have 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, and then 1 half left over. So we'll have 3 and 1 half. But since we don't always have pictures, let's take a look at it as a multiplication problem. Now, the number 7 is the same as 7 over 1. Any number that's a whole number can be written as that number over 1. So 3 is 3 over 1. 12 is 12 over 1. In this case, 7 is going to be 7 over 1. And then we can do our multiplication. And we have a little rap or a song, however you want to call it, and it goes like this. Multiply in fractions, it's no problem. Top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. And so here we go. Top times the top is 7 times 1, which is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. And that gives us 7 halves. And then we can convert that to a mixed number. 2 goes into 7 3 times. 2 times 3 is 6. That means we have 1 left over, 3 and 1 half, which gives us our answer. Let's take a look at one more quick example. You count the slices of orange on another serving tray. There are six quarter slices. A quarter is one fourth. Six quarter slices of orange, how many total oranges are there? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six quarter slices. Now, each quarter slice makes up a half, but if we can count these, we'll see that if we group these together in a group of four, we have one, two, three, four fourths, or that's one, and two fourths, and two fourths is one half. So we have one and one half, and we've multiplied six times one fourth. Well, let's see what that is using the actual multiplication process. One fourth times six, and remember that six is, since it's a whole number, it's the same as six over one. And we remember our little multiplication rhyme, multiplying fractions. We multiply the top across the top, which is six times one, and that gives us six. And the bottom across the bottom, which gives us four. And once again, we can do this into a mixed number. Four goes into six one whole time with two left over, one and two fourths. And one and two fourths is the same as one and one half. Our answer is one half. Here are two more quick examples to remind us of how it works. We're going to multiply our fractions here. We'll multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. 3 times 7 is 21. 5 times 9 is 45. Now, 3 will go into both 21 and 45 so that we can simplify it. So, 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 45 divided by 3 is 1 5 7 fifteenths is our answer. Moving on down here, this one we need to convert first. We have a mixed number and a fraction, so we need to convert this to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and we keep it over the 2. Then we multiply that by 3 fourths, and then it's simple. Top times the top, which is equal to 15 and bottom times the bottom, which is equal to 8. 15 eighths, or I can convert it back to a mixed number. 8 goes into 15 one time with 7 left over, and we put that back over our 8. You see that again if we do it like this. 8 goes into 15 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. 15 minus 8 is 7 with a remainder of 7. 1 with a remainder of 7 over 8, and our answer is 1 and 7 eighths. Let's solve a problem using multiplication now. 
It takes Sandy a quarter of an hour to run one lap around her college campus. So she goes around the college campus, it takes one half an hour. If she runs three and a half laps, how long did she run? She went three and a half laps, right? Three and one half. And how long did she run? So we'll multiply three and one fifth times one fourth, and that'll give us the total amount of time she ran. Well, we need to convert our mixed number to an improper fraction. Three times five is 15, plus one is 16 over five times one fourth. That gives us 16 times one, top times the top, and bottom times the bottom, five times four is 20. 16 twentieths. And we can simplify that because four goes into both 16 and 20. 16 divided by four is four. 20 divided by four is five. It took her four fifths of an hour to run.